Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to High Media, High Media TV. I'm your host, High Media TV. And today, welcome back to Nerd News. Our top story of the day is some coverage of a, another Nintendo leak of a different sort. This time, it's not Game Freak. But let's get into some of our headlines of the day. Star Citizen devs criticize company's management and development process. Ubisoft French workers strike over the return to office order spreads to Italy. X Supercell developers open studio anti-hero. And on to our main story. If you want to read an, a, any of the articles in question, uh, if, join our uh, supporters on our dis, uh, supporters slash patrons slash Twitch subbers on our subscribers on our Discord. Have access to the articles channel, and you can, if you want to look at them for free, you can check out our YouTube Shorts feed. On to our main story. Nysteria, sorry, my Tinder messages are going ham. Nintendo messages, Mysterious Playtest begins leak. Nintendo's up, updated the official website for the Mysterious Switch Online Playtest program today, privately revealing more information to participants about what it entails. The playtest is running from October the 23rd from 9... PM Eastern until November the 5th, 8 PM Eastern is only available for roughly the 10,000 people who've already registered for the program. The test software is now available to download ahead. The start of gameplay and requires 2.2 gigs of free space. Participants didn't sign an NDA, but Nintendo requested in the playtest terms conditions that users refrain from sharing any details about it, which has gone about as well can be expected. While Nintendo has already started issuing copyright strikes to take leaked media offline, screenshots and information about the playtest are still available across websites like X and Reddit at the time of viewing. It appears that Nintendo's attempt, attempt to develop its first MMO-style game, according to the game description. The goal is to work with others to fully develop a massive, expansive planet by utilizing creativity and framed resources. Players will encounter new lands, enemies, and resources as they progress, and utilize beacons that create zones to help the environment around where they are placed. Beacon zones are personal. The players can only move, lift, and edit items in zones they have placed and cannot edit anything within someone else's beacon. There's a separate social hub called the Dev Core where players can level up, obtain items, and interact with each other. Nintendo also describes a UGC, user generated content features, for creating and sharing tons of content, but players are required to pass an in game test to show you understand the importance of respectful communication before this capability can be unlocked. At a glance, the game shares similarities with some family friendly MMOs like, like Minecraft and Roblox. The IP is either entirely new. Or it is a placeholder for the game itself, meaning it could be a part of an existing franchise at release. All we know for sure is that the previous speculation would bring a GameCube title to Nintendo Switch service online. Cube are probably put to rest. I maintain they should still bring the fucking GameCube games to Nintendo Switch Online. You rat fucks. I'm not going to turn this video into another rant about what, about how Nintendo is bad for uh, game preservation because I've already done that ad nauseum on this channel. But, that being said, ultimately, the fact that Nintendo is continuing, is doing something like this is interesting. I'm curious to see how much power the new Switch that they're putting out is going to have, and whether or not this kind of game is going to be an exclusive on there. Do are, are, do, did the, Is... Nintendo finally shedding the Japanese businessman brain rot of believing any business idea conceived outside of Japan is is not something that should be uh, engaged with. And actually looking at good ideas like Minecraft and Roblox and, and, and incorporating, you know, things of that nature, maybe. Or this could all just be for not and Nintendo will just go back to being, you know, fucking we know best because we're Nintendo. Fuck off behavior so i don't know whatever um they have pokemon they have my me by the balls for time in memoriam so what what am i even bitching about hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have great day.